We're looking at Steve Ditko's 32 pages, issue number 20. What I want to focus on here is the art. There is a New York Times article a while back on Steve Ditko, and there were a number of comments in the article. All of them, every single one, claim that Ditko is mentally ill, that he's a Randian objectivist. Not one of them, and it's not just the New York Times article, there have been other ones, um, not one of them focused on his art. In a future post, I'm going to address whether, in fact, it even makes sense to uh, call Steve Ditko an Randian or an objectivist. But what I want to focus on is the extraordinary technique here. This makes each issue worth looking at in detail. The page layout, the movement, it's deceptively simple. The way that only a genius could make it work. It's beautiful. I wonder how many people actually take the time, though, to look at this art and absorb it. There is an interesting book on Chris Ware called Drawing is a Way of Thinking. And I think that phrase, drawing as a way of thinking, really applies to Ditko's work, this personal work especially. I think the art speaks louder than the words.